Picture this, you're deep into building your application when you hit that inevitable moment where you need to integrate with an external service. Maybe it's Stripe for processing payments, SendGrid for emails, or Google Maps for location data. You head over to the documentation and you're provided with two options. You either use the REST API directly or use an SDK from a package manager. The question then becomes, which one do you go with? First, let's make sure we're on the same page about what we're dealing with. An API or application programming interface is essentially a contract that defines how software can communicate with other software systems. When we talk about web APIs, we're usually referring to REST or GraphQL endpoints that you hit with HTTP requests. You send a request to a URL with some parameters and you get back structured data, typically in JSON format. Now, an SDK or software development kit is a pre-built library that wraps around the API, written specifically for your programming language. Instead of crafting HTTP requests manually, you're calling methods like stripe.createCharges or sendgrid.sendEmail. Now, let's go to the scenario where you're consuming someone else's service. Going the direct API route means you'll be making HTTP requests with an HTTP client like Axios, for example. You'll construct the request headers, handle authentication tokens, parse the JSON responses, and deal with error codes manually. This gives you complete control over how the integration works. You can customize your retry logic, implement your own caching layer, or handle edge cases exactly how you want to. But here's the thing, with great power comes great responsibility. You're now responsible for understanding every nuance of their API. Rate limiting, you need to handle that. Authentication token refresh, that's on you too. Error handling for network timeouts, server errors, or malformed responses, all yours. Using the SDK flips the entire thing. Instead of worrying about HTTP status codes and request formatting, you're calling clean predefined methods. The SDK usually handles authentication, automatically retries failed requests, and much more. But SDKs aren't magic. They're abstractions, and all abstractions leak eventually. When something goes wrong, you might find yourself digging through SDK source code to understand what requests are actually being made. Plus, you're now dependent on the SDK maintainer to keep pace with API changes and fix any bugs. So how do you decide? Well, it all comes down to priorities and constraints. For consuming services, choose APIs when you need flexibility, custom error handling, or you're working in a language without SDK support. For building services, start with a solid API if resources are limited. Add SDKs later for popular languages if developer adoption is critical to your business. The best companies often do both, but they always start with the API foundation first. Remember, you can always evolve your approach as your need changes. The key is being intentional about the trade-offs you're making. Follow Omakos for more programming videos like this.